Good morning, what is going on everybody? This is the CryptoQ YouTube channel and today we are going to be talking about Fetch AI. I'm going to be doing a base review of the project, giving my opinion at the end of the video of it and going over it. So you can find them on Twitter at Fetch underscore AI and their website Fetch.ai. Disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor. This is for educational purposes only. As always, we are in crypto. It is highly volatile. As we can see for to me today, it is September 24th when I'm recording this. This will go live tomorrow. Uh, the market went down because of uh, some China FUD. So, I mean, everything's volatile. We saw things dropping 20%. It uh, happens and it occurs. So what is Fetch AI? What, what exactly is it? Well, simply put, it's artificial intelligence for blockchains. Uh, FetchAI itself is a Cambridge-based AI lab where they are working on building a decentralized machine learning platform. Uh, with that machine learning, you will be hearing more about what they call their agents. It is also a platform for connecting IoT or Internet of Thing devices and algorithms. So we've seen a huge rise in IOT, especially in crypto, this uh, bull cycle. And additionally, we're looking at smart contract capability to deploy the machine learning and AI due to some of the features with Fetch. And also Fetch 2.0 went live quarter one of 2021. Now I wanna to touch on here, Fetch AI's tech stack. So they've got four main elements that kind of make up their technology. This includes their agent framework, their open economic framework, their agent metropolis, my apologies, and fetch AI blockchain. For starters, the agent framework is a modular and reusable framework uh, for components of their multi-agent systems. And agents are pretty much your bots, if you wanna think of it that way, it's your AI machine learning, that you can create to earn rewards that all work together. Their op open economic framework uh, is pretty much their discovery functions for agents. Their agent metropolis is a collection of smart contracts that run on WebAssembly. And Fetch, Fetch AI blockchain is a novel multi-party cryptography and game theory usage uh, pretty much their blockchain allows for secure and censorship resistant consensus for their protocol. So what is Fetch's technical focus? Well, it's machine learning, agents, and cryptography. Machine learning, pretty much used with their blockchain to provide decentralized, federated learning algorithms. Their agents, you can pretty much have the deployment and development for autonomous agent populations to hit various goals, doesn't have to be economic, but I put economic in this case, and cryptography to enhance the speed, efficiency, and security of blockchains. So these agents I keep speaking of, you know, I said anyone can create them. They are independent parties. It's something you go ahead and you create, and I'll throw up something here to show you kind of a basic, but their actual agents do work as a network. They can perform a variety of different cases and they will end up connecting to one another where they will then negotiate and perform different checks on their own. So this is automated. And additionally, these agreements that are made with these agents are processed on the Fetch AI blockchain. And so next I'm going to show you some of the use cases that these agents can be used for. So here are some of the use cases that agents can be used for and some of the use cases of Fetch AI. One, delivery agents, autonomous travel agents, uh, smart cities, they are working on a field trial, commodity exchanges and DeFi, collective learning, signs, supply chains, transport, mobility, energy, smart homes, a decentralized train network, publications, thermometer agents, e-mobility and electric vehicle infrastructure, smart parking and congestion solutions, which <laughs> we need that for sure, uh, and rails. So, I mean, 
they've got a ton of uses that I'm excited to honestly see. Now, a lot of people do, you know, say, hey, I'm not really interested in AI machine learning, you know, crypto. But in all honesty, there are some good use cases for it. One cool feature of the Fetch, Fetch AI is their collective learning co-learn platform. So co-learn is pretty much for anybody to participate in, but it's for learners to collaborate on a training where they can build a model or in machine learning, they can train a model uh, without having to trust each participant and not have to be uh, fully aware of who they are. Learners all work together and they vote on these updates to their models. So it is almost like a DAO or a governance model in a sense. Uh, CoLearn is a library, so it does have privacy preserving decentralized machine learning tasks. Uh, some of the core components included are the learner, which are all the participants. They have their own private data sets that they can use. The global model that comes from the CoLearn experiment and some of the things they'll be rolling out. Uh, another core component of this CoLearn is the Fetch blockchain. Uh, being able to provide smart contracts. And then you've got the data layer, which is based on IPFS uh, to help share machine learning weights between these learners. So I've been talking quite a bit about Fetch, but I haven't talked about the team or anyone involved with it. So their CEO is Humayun Sheik, their COO, Toby Simpson, their CSO, Thomas Hain, CTO, Jonathan Ward, Director of Business Development, Maria, Min and I'm so sorry, ben Mineri Kova. Their advisors include Alexandra Brintrup, Michael Wold Woldridge, Anasora, I cannot pronounce all of these names, uh, Cash, Monique, Melvin, Abe, Philip, Jonathan, Jamie, Steve, and Niall. I apologize, but some of the more foreign last names than what I typically see in the United States are a little bit tough to pronounce and I do not want to butcher or disrespect these people. So that is why I am doing that. Fetch AI's partners include Bosch, Festo, Telecom Innovation Labs, Blockchain for Europe, Datarella, Yodi, Zerochain, Fireblocks, Binance, AIIN, Anchor, Conflux, Sovereign, Trusted IoT Alliance, Grayswan, Waves, and Kudo. A very, very good list of partners, I would say so myself. The FET token itself, F-E-T, is what the ticker is. Current price is sitting right at about 70 cents, a market cap of right about 524 million, a supply sitting at 1.1 billion tokens, audited by Certic and Slowmist. They've got just under 20,000 holders, with the largest holders having 1.5% of the supply. The FET tokens are also used to pay for transactions, network operations, and agents. FET is also used to help and deploy agents. So it's a pretty useful token, I would say, as it's going to be a building block, a core component for the growth of Fetch. Now, where can you buy Fetch or FET. Well, you can buy it on Binance, Coinbase, KuCoin, Bitfinex, Gate.io, Uniswap, Ascendex, or Bitmax, Ascendex, Crypto.com, OneInch, WazirX, MEXC, PyNX, and then actually a whole list of others that would fill up probably most of the screen. So I went ahead and just touched on some of the biggest ones here. Uh, and you can go and check their coin market cap or coin gecko if you are looking for a very specific exchange. So staking the FET token. So staking provides access to their test networks and their main nets. We'll also need to use their browser extension wallet, which is a Kepler for fork. It actually just switched over, or I should say recently switched over, where previously you could stake on uh, Ethereum, and now you need, well, now you need their browser extension to be able to stake. So 
pretty interesting. Uh, FET has a withdrawal that is subject to a three week lockup period. So this is going, this is not unfamiliar due to how the typical Cosmos ecosystem projects will work. There's typically about a 21 day lockup period when you go to withdraw. So you are seeing that there, you are earning about a 10% APY and staking FET will also has the potential to be eligible for stake drops in the future. Uh, we'll have to see where that goes from there. So here I'm going to be talking about some of the applications on Fetch. You have their simple open economic framework, their autonomous AI travel agents. So being able to book hotels and work with hotel operators, decentralized delivery agents for deliveries, an autonomous economic agent registry, which is a place to build these agents and participate in the new digital economy. Uh, pretty much this is similar to an app store that's pretty much all it is there and lastly we are looking at their roadmap so as we are pretty much wrapping up q3 i went ahead and touched and put on there what was set and aimed and achieved throughout q3 so their ledger mainnet with ethereum and binance smart chain through the gravity bridge the agents world 5 testnet a collective learning for art generating, which I absolutely think that is cool. The DeFi agents and swap support for native payments and alerts. DeFi agents on the Fetch AI mainnet. And in Q4, you've got the connection of Fetch AI's mainnet to the Cosmos hub with the IBC. I'm extremely excited for this. NFT staking support on the mainnet, which I'm excited about. AW6 DeFi trading agent, exciting tokenized collective learning system a DeFi fund management agent based oracle network and a relaunch of their website so they have got a huge q4 incoming i'm actually quite excited for them now i want to disclaim as always i am not invested in fetch right now but i am really considering buying some of these tokens up especially as they dipped from almost 90 cents when I first started doing my research into this project and now they are at 70 cents so I, I'm heavily interested in buying them on what I consider a good dip and accumulating them and once they roll out on the Cosmos hub getting more and more and more involved with Fetch AI so I think it's pretty obvious now you know where I stand in my opinion on it but I want to go ahead and touch on it overall I like the project there are not many AI machine learning based protocols or project that I am super interested in but this is actually one that ticks a lot of boxes for me I see the growth as to where it's going and some of the addressable market that it has so I plan to at least be involved in it maybe not invest a ton of money into it, but at least start working with it, especially once they are on the Cosmos hub, that'll make my life a lot easier and start going from there. And so let me know down below what your thoughts are on Fetch AI, and I hope you have a good day and I'll catch you later.